and you can hear the sounds of change. Watch, and you will see the birth of a new tradition, the beginning of an exciting new time of progress and promise. Open up your mind and your imagination, and you will be part of it. The way of life that you call cotton is entering a new age of opportunity and challenge. We are beginning the quiet revolution. The quiet revolution in cotton is taking place all about us. It is beginning in the stores and on the street. New fabrics, new blends, new permanent press processing has brought with it a new demand for high quality cotton. In the textile mills, drawing machines are turning out strands of cotton at 800 to 1600 feet per minute, compared to 100 feet per minute of a few years ago. And the looms can turn out 100 yards of cloth in the time it formerly took to weave 50 yards. This increase in speed has brought with it a new demand for strength and uniformity of fibers. The quiet revolution is taking place in the testing laboratories and in marketing methods. In this Texas High Plains laboratory, cotton is precisely analyzed for length, strength, fineness, color, and trash with new fiber instruments. Nearly 100,000 bales received this thorough testing and labeling this year. Although marketing of cotton on the basis of fiber measurements is just beginning, a start has been made. The future will bring an increasing demand for matched lots and quality standards that will have a tremendous influence on marketing methods. The revolution is being felt at the gins. High-speed harvesting methods mean a shorter ginning season. New air pollution laws required a major investment in special equipment and prohibit burning trash. And three billion pounds of trash must be hauled back to the fields or disposed of in some other way by the gins. Even the bowl is changing. In the fields, we see new varieties. Staple lengths are increasing. The market demands longer fibers. In 1966, only 13% of the crop graded at one inch or longer. In 1967, this had increased to 39%, and two-thirds of the crop consisted of high-strength fibers that tested over 75,000 PSI. In spite of the competition from synthetic fibers and foreign cotton producers, the market will increase. A five-year surplus was depleted in two years. Cotton is increasing its competitive strength through new outlays in research and promotion. A spokesman for the National Cotton Council reports industry-wide research and promotion increased two and a half times over previous programs. And through this and other efforts, predicts a five-year growth to an 18 or 20 million bale market. And one major factor in the quiet revolution is apparent to everyone. In the future, as the population increases, we will need to produce more and more, even while we're losing farmland to the expansion of cities and industry. <laughs>